Hi guys, welcome back to Quran Logics, where I take a very quick look at the logics used and applied in the Islamic Quran, where there are hundreds of sentences where the alleged author, a highly narcissistic God, a creator God, threatens followers and non-followers alike with horrendous punishment if they don't believe what it says in the Quran, a book claimed to be written by that very creator God author. In fact, according to the Quran in 5533, we read, according to Sahih International, a company of jinn and mankind, if you are able to pass beyond the regions of heavens and the earth, then pass. You will not pass except by authority from Allah. So if you can cross the limits of earth, then go ahead, but not without God's permission. Now, what the authors of the Quran didn't know, of course, is that in November, in a year dated 2018, 2018, based on a different God, NASA landed a robotic probe labeled InSight on another planet, Mars, without any authority or permission from any God that I am aware of. But many human beings have left Earth, even landed on the moon, and thousands are flying through the air at any given moment. So the claim made in the Quran is a false claim, a mistake in the Quran. Now we have to remember that according to the Quran, Earth is flat with invisible pillars holding up a solid firmament without any cracks. So penetrating these heavenly layers would of course be deemed impossible for the authors of the Quran over a thousand years ago. In fact, this also refers to the creatures called the jinn. And I would imagine that this plants is solidly beyond reality and rational observation, a fairy tale. Now, people like Magduri try to rescue their god, who can't seem to express itself so well, saying that this is actually the earth and the heavens, the universe or the kingdom of God. The verse means to impress this. It is not in your power to escape Allah's grasp. Okay, so if Maududi can write this so eloquently, why couldn't his God? Ibn Kathir also explains it in a similar way. You will never be able to escape Allah's orders and decrees because it encompasses you. You will never be able to avoid or avert his rule and judgment over you. You are surrounded by it wherever you may be. So if Ibn Kathir can write this so eloquently, why couldn't his God? And according to most scholars, this sentence is actually badly written and simply refers to Judgment Day. Is any of this logical and befitting an all-knowing, perfect creator God? Why would anyone trust this God?